Hey guys. <laughs> so this may be a very random video, but at this point I'm fucking so annoyed. I made a video a couple days ago about the brands I would never ever support or trust or spend any money on, and I was gonna wait to do a part two and feature this brand in that video, but quite frankly it wouldn't do it any justice. My distaste of this company goes far beyond hatred, if that's even possible to comprehend. Like I don't think you could hate anything as much as I hate this brand. The brand I'm talking about is the brand Unique. I hate this brand so much. It's it's fucking annoying, it's garbage, and I say that because I have tested one of their products years ago. This was at least three, four years ago, which is why I really started to dislike this brand, because they were advertising, of course, their most famous product, which was that 3D fucking fuck-ass mascara. They advertised it as life-changing, that you're gonna have such amazing lashes. <laughs> It's gonna look natural, it's gonna look beautiful, it'll enhance any look. Why the fuck you lying? When honestly, the only look I got was fucking spider legs, which is not fucking cute. I'm bringing this up now because I've had an influx of these fuck ass presenters. These pushy ass, rambunctious ass, annoying ass presenters fucking trying to push their product on me. Constantly flooding my DMs on Instagram. Do you want to try the best mascara in the world? I fucking want to blow my brains out by how many fucking messages I get daily. Just today alone, I blocked at least six different people. But because I hate this brand so much and I want to finally just let it be known how much I do not like this brand, I decided to dedicate this entire video to the garbage ass company that is unique. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly why no one should fucking trust this brand or use this brand at all. If this offends you, it's probably because you're being paid by the brand to sell the product, which I understand, you gotta get money, girl, do your thing. But you can at least do it in an honest way. And if that is enough for you to fucking not use this brand, Kevin James Benet, who is a world-renowned Emmy Award-winning makeup artist, his word, in my opinion, is literally gold when it comes to makeup artistry and anything that has to do with different products, what products to use, what products not to use, and things like that. I trust his opinion over anything, and he has been very outspoken about this brand as a whole as well. He himself said, it's not just one or two incidents talking about the eye infections people got from using the mascara. It's not some random occurrence. This type of horrible medical reaction has been reported over and over again. Stop misrepresenting this product as natural and safe. It definitely isn't. And stop pushing it on unsuspecting people without proper warnings, which is exactly what these fucking people do. I have tried the mascara and I have to tell you it was literally the biggest piece of shit I've ever used in my life. And that was the start of me not liking this brand because I used this mascara thinking that I was gonna have like these life-changing lashes when really my lashes looked like shit and it fucking hurt to wear the lashes because the shit would literally flop out of your fucking lash line and into your eyeball because I was quick enough to get the fuck off my eye before it wedged itself into the back of my eye socket. But when I talked about it on Instagram, I was instantaneously attacked by the brainless horde of presenters. One lady went as far as telling me that I obviously stabbed myself in the eye with the actual wand. Now at this point, I was not educated in makeup, I was not professionally trained, but I've been using mascara long enough to know that you don't fucking lodge a mascara wand into your eyeball on purpose purpose. That does nothing but make your eyes fucking hurt. The number one thing the presenters tell you when you complain about the mascara to them is that you're obviously doing it wrong. The biggest thing that bothers me about this brand is the fact that they use people's kids against them. Now I don't mean they use the kids to get back at these people, I mean they use the thought of staying at home with your kids all day and still making good money to bring these people in to recruit them. Because let's be real, if you ask any parent what they would rather do, go to work at a 9 to 5 job and make money or stay at home with your kids and make the same amount of money, any parent would obviously choose the latter because it's their kids. They're going to want to stay home with their kids as much as they can. 
especially when it's a baby or a toddler. Like, those moments are precious, obviously. So for this company to use that against these people to recruit people is fucking cheap. It's cheap because, number one, it's fucking false. Did you guys know that less than 1-5% to 5 of the people who work for the company who are reps make decent money? And when I say decent money, I mean having enough money to pay all your bills. Electric, car payments, rent, mortgage payments, whatever the case may be. Enough money to cover all the fucking bills whole and still have enough money to be comfortable for the rest of the month or whatever. Less than 1-5% to 5 of the people who rep this brand have that. The rest are just worker ants. They're piss-ons who literally work for the higher-ups and make the higher-ups money. At the end of everything, you end up throwing away more money than you do making money. In order to become a representative of Unique, so someone who's going to go out there and sell the product, you pay $99 for a kit. If you don't want to be a rep and you want the same kit, you pay $146 fucking dollars for complete garbage. But I digress. They advertise this kit as a $360 value, but I don't see it. I don't see that validation anywhere. To me, it looks like cheap shit you could find on fucking Wish or Amazon. Now let's think about that. $99 for a single mother who is already struggling is a fucking lot of money. And I don't want to sit here and talk down to the single mothers who would rather spend money on a brand like Unique and not their kid. I'm talking about people who have like an extra $100 laying around. Like if you have that kind of money laying around, do you. Do what you want to do with it. But I think you could find better things to spend the money on. Let's be real. The only way you get that money back is if you spend all of your time selling the product. Whether it be at parties, online, or face to face with people, you need to devote your time to selling this product when you have time to do so. And let's be honest, what person wants to spend the hour they get to themselves if that? Selling product that literally no one is buying because let's be honest, there are now drugstore options that are not only safer for you, but even cheaper than this garbage. If you go on to eBay or Amazon, you will see so many kits being sold, or at least in this case trying to be sold because no one's buying that shit. If you do your research, you will find so many safer, cheaper options in the drugstore that quite frankly give you better results than fucking garbage ass spider leg ass mascara lashes. And going back to what I said about having to devote your time to selling the product, more than half the time, all the time you get to yourself when you get the chance to have time to yourself, if you are a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those few precious moments where the kids are asleep for a nap or they're at school or whatever the case may be, when you have that time to yourself, when you're not running errands, running yourself ragged, trying to get the house full of food, get the house clean, get the laundry done, when you have a few moments to sit to yourself, you don't want to spend that time relentlessly trying to push this product to sell it to make your profit back. In the end, it really isn't a good investment. Just think about that. Because like I said, there are safer, cheaper, better options with better results in the drugstore. So why would you put your time and money into a product like this that really isn't being sold anymore? If you go on Amazon and eBay, you will see kit after kit after kit put up on there for a last minute chance to get rid of the shit to get some form of money back from their investment. Because more than half the time people get these kits and think they're going to sell them quickly and make all this money, but when it doesn't happen in a fast pace, they lose motivation, they're like, well damn, this was stupid, try to get the money back, and you can't. Because many people have said that they've tried to return their kits to get any kind of money back and they never get a hold of anybody. And what makes matters worse in most cases is the fact that when people first jump into this program and they think they're going to make all this money, of course, the first thing people tell them when they want to find out how to get more sales is to keep buying more product for their kit. The more you have in your kit, the more you can show off and the more you can sell. But that just becomes an endless money pit because all you're doing is investing, investing, investing and making more money for the higher ups and the founders, but you're not making any money for yourself because you're buying all this makeup to try to sell more, but you're not selling anything. And if you think this brand is cruelty free, I'm sorry, you have been lied to over and over and over. Reps for this brand will ignorantly post these stupid ass pictures talking about how Unique is a cruelty free brand. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. But that is a 100% false statement. Unique as of right now in this very moment is not a cruelty free certified brand. They have not met the requirements to become certified and have not taken the steps to become certified in any way shape or form. 
In order to become a certified cruelty-free brand, companies must prove that none of their products are tested on animals, none of their ingredients are tested on animals, they do not commission animal testing to a third party, they must verify that none of their raw material suppliers test on animals, and finally, they must not retail their products in countries that require animal testing by law, such as China. Unique has done none of those things, so they are not cruelty-free as much as they'd like you believe they are. So if anything, that kind of just proves how little they actually give a fuck about things like that, you know? what I mean? So my question to Unique as a brand is why are you still allowing these people to post and tag your company in pictures that represent your brand as being cruelty free when you know it is a false statement? Is there no content control for the post that you're tagged in? Or are you simply seeing the posts and allowing the post to happen because they paint you in a positive light? Just because you say you're cruelty free does not make you cruelty free. I can just as easily say that I'm Marilyn Monroe, but we all know I am far from fucking Marilyn Monroe. You as a whole, as an entire brand, need to educate everybody who represents you and make sure that everyone knows exactly what they're selling before they do stupid shit like this and get your ass in trouble. Because all they're doing as of right now is making you out to look like something you're actually not. They're literally painting a false picture of you to get attention and sales. Speaking of sales, the training you get when you sign on to become a rep for the brand is very, very heavily focused on, of course, sales and marketing. Very little of your time and training is focused on the actual products you're going to be selling, which to me is very, very fucking sketchy. Which kind of makes sense if you think about it, because the company owners themselves are extraordinarily educated in marketing and sales. So they can teach you how to sell a brothel to a fucking nun, but can't teach you how to use the products that come with the fucking brothel. But they overall expect you to make sure that your sales are fucking amazing. At these training seminars, I would make sure that all of my reps would know exactly what they're fucking selling. They would learn about each of the products that I have in my company in depth who should use each product, who would benefit the best from using each of the products, what ingredients are in all the products, and why they're in that product. They would have a whole ingredient list of things that people should look out for in case they have allergies. At least then they would know who not to sell those products to. They would know the best way to achieve the best results for each product, as well as the best ways to remove the product with little to no effort. They would know the shelf life of each product and what conditions each product should be kept in to maintain the quality of the product. In my opinion, the brand as a whole is a fucking circus. It's a joke, it is a waste of time, and I would not recommend this brand to anybody. At least not anyone who loves their eyeballs. I just, I, I don't understand why these products are so expensive, especially when there are drugstore options that are number one, safer, number two, cheaper, and number three, offer better fucking results than this toxic garbage in the tube. There is nothing unique about anything they offer, and quite frankly, the products themselves are garbage. And as much as they want you to think that this brand is based in the US and the products are made in the US, they're actually made in China, which is another reason why they can't really get that certification to be cruelty free. Because like we learned before, in China they believe in testing products on animals. <laughs> And if you think things cannot get worse, this is the same brand that will have these huge releases of new products. Let's say it's a foundation they just came out with, right? They sell out within hours. Like I said earlier, the more products you have to offer in your kit, the better chance you have of selling everything, right? So all of the reps will buy all of the foundation, every shade to make sure they have all the selection for all their customers. So they sell out of all this foundation, and then the company sells out of all the foundation, but the company and the reps will still take money happily from the customers, but not give them any product. There is no product to be given. There's no estimated time of delivery for their product they just pre-ordered pretty much. And when customers try to inquire as to when they're going to begin the product they paid for, no one ever gets back to them.
and more than half the time, the reps themselves at the end of the day end up having to refund all of the people who bought the product from them from their own pockets. The brand does none of the refunds, the reps do themselves. So if you thought you lost money before when you invested in this brand, you lose even more when the brand has these new releases and sells out of them but doesn't make enough to cover the new release itself. So then you have angry customers who number one, don't wanna buy from you again, who don't trust you. You also now have customers who are wanting their money back because they put that money towards a product they're not gonna get. They can't get any response from anybody, so what would you fucking do? You fucking want your money back, right? So now the reps themselves have to, out of their own pocket, refund every single person who ordered the product that is out of stock. So you end up losing even more money. You're not making anything because all you're doing is paying these people back out of your own pocket for something that wasn't your mistake. So I don't know, guys. To me, this brand as a whole is fucking garbage. I would never, ever, 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 ever in my life recommend it to anybody. And I will continue to be a vocal about my distaste of this brand for as long as I have oxygen going through my body. This is not a safe brand for anybody. And if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. But, but how can you just sit here and say the brand is perfectly safe? It's okay. It's great. It's a great brand when all this shit is happening And it's the same thing over and over and over again And of course unique doesn't give a fuck about you because all you are is making them money You know what I mean? You're paying their mortgages. You're paying their electric bill. You're paying their internet bill You're paying for all their fucking expensive ass cars and their nice ass houses and bullshit And that is exactly what I mean This brand does not give a fuck about you when it comes to being a rep because all all they see you as is cash money, honey. They don't give a fuck about you as a person. If they did, they'd have better quality service, they'd train you better, and the product itself would be better for the people you're selling it to. And like I said, it's not only educators warning people against using the products, it's also world-renowned Emmy award-winning makeup artists, professionals who have been in this industry for fucking years, way longer than Unique has been around. When the professionals are telling you not to use it, there has got to be something there that's not going to be good for you, you know what I mean? So don't take my word for it, listen to the professionals. So yes, that concludes this video guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and found it informative. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to leave them all down below. And if you've had any experiences with Unique, leave those all down below as well. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god, stop your fucking lying.